Biden is expected to deliver a speech at an HBCU. Basil John has more. Tensions are high as the commencement draws near over the president's handling of the Israel and Hamas war. And the president tries to make inroads with more voters before the election. President Joe Biden capped off a week of events, marking 70 years since the Supreme Court ordered schools to desegregate by speaking at the National Museum of African American History. And black history is American history. This comes as the president is scheduled to deliver a speech to Morehouse College graduates. HBCUs are vital to our nation's progress. However, the administration anticipates there will be protests. Uh, I think as long as there are peaceful protests um, that don't disrupt the the amazing moment that is for each of those graduates there today, I think uh, we'll all um, consider this a success. Students and alumni have demanded the university cancel the speech over Biden's handling of the conflict between Israel and Hamas. He should not be speaking at the alma mater of Dr. Martin Luther King. Edward Ahmed Mitchell with the Council on American Islamic Relations is a Morehouse alum and says the president's visit takes away from the graduates. His team should have made the decision that this was not the right time to move the spotlight for Morehouse students to the president and his bad policy on Gaza. Mitchell expects peaceful and respectful protests to happen, but believes it's all up to the president. He can make the Morehouse graduation a happy moment if he announces I'm demanding and securing a ceasefire in Gaza. The ball is in the president's court. He knows what he needs to do. Morehouse President David Thomas has said it's more important for Biden to speak during this time when emotions are high. Reporting in Washington, I'm Basil John.